Stuart, congratulations. First of all, what a whirlwind couple of weeks for you. Um, how's the baby? Baby Casper's good, yeah. He was born last Tuesday, so uh, yeah, it's been pretty whirlwind, sort of last uh, 11 days from me home for a bit, then back out training, then into the squad uh, for the game, and off the bench pretty early, so yeah, it's been pretty dream come true stuff. Because you had to bide your time, you were one of the few players that hadn't had any minutes at this World Cup, was that frustrating? Did you just have to sort of remain patient? How did you deal with that? Um, it was frustrating, but um, it is it is what it is. The guys are playing so well, I think they sort of had great cohesion, the, the 10, 12, 13 were at Bundy and Robbie were playing, or at Bundy and uh, Gary were playing so well, so um, it's just waiting with my time. I think it showed during the Six Nations, um, guys get injured, and unfortunately, and guys have to slot in, so I just have to be ready. Talk to us about the team performance that, that you came into, as you said, uh, quite early, um, getting that early try and then dealing with everything that Scotland had to throw at you. There was a defensive set there that went on phase after phase and Ireland came up trumps uh, at the end. It seemed like a crucial moment in the game. Yeah, that, I think that sort of period from about five minutes until maybe 15, 20, um, the guys put an unbelievable shift. There's some great turnovers. Um, and that's what you have to do. And again, like the, Scotland are a good team. They're not going to back down. And um, it's sort of great digging in there. And then once we got into their game, once they got over that purple patch they had, we, we sort of flowed well and took our chances well, I thought. Yeah. You talked there about the way you guys could step in like, like you did this evening and obviously there was uh, Jameson playing on the wing and Gary playing on the wing and it was uh, a yeah. bit frantic there. Um, how much is that adaptability and that ability to cope um, and, and guys coming on and doing a job, is that going to be important in the next week? We don't know what the injury prognosis is going to be but you'd imagine there will be some situations to deal with. Yeah, hopefully injuries aren't too bad. I don't think anything's that bad from what we've seen but um, yeah, it's... It, like it's a testament to the guys. Like I didn't really have to do too much different. I just played twelve really and stood in the wing a wee bit. But the likes of Jameson, like he hasn't practiced in the wing, um, but he was unbelievable out there. He's such a, like such a smart rugby player. He knows how to play there, and he could he could have filled me. He could have been a winger out there, and then Gary and Bundy obviously playing slightly out of position. Um, they were world class in those positions as well. So uh, it was brilliant to the players around me. It made it very easy when I came on. Saw a nice uh, shot of you with uh, uh, little Casper. Um, there at the end, will you get much daddy time this week or is it just all handed over again? Uh, I don't know, I think they leave uh, fairly early tomorrow so uh, hopefully we'll be back out next week or might get Miller's son, he's three and a half so maybe he might get the trip next week. <laughs> well, we look forward to it. Thank Thanks you. very Cheers. much, Dirk. Well Thanks. done. Cheers.